So, solar flares, this, this is very common. It happens all the time. It just so happens that the sun is in its, it's getting to the peak of its activity. It's, it's 11 year cycle. Every 11 years, the activity of the sun goes from, uh, from high to low. And in 2025, it is going to peak. So, uh, the, so the, the chances of more solar flares coming out in this time is more. But it's not, uh, it's not, it's not a very uncommon thing. Now the, the the reason why this is coming to uh, in, into the news is that this this flare which, which which came out of the very active solar spot region on the sun uh, I think three six six four I don't know I have to check that number so from that that is a very uh, very active region of the sun surface and this solar flare that came out it is ejected from the sun surface मतलब it is coming out वो sun के from the surface of the sun it is thrown out highly charged particles of of plasma and this charged particles can travel at very high velocities. Anything it can take from few hours to few days to reach Earth. It can be that fast also. So uh, the, the faster these particles move, the more dangerous they are. Because faster means just more energy. Now what happens when it comes to the Earth? Earth has a magnetic field. Earth has a, an atmosphere. Right? So since, the, the, since these are charged particles coming from the Sun, they can be deflected by the magnetic field. And because they are deflected by the magnetic field, most of these charged particles go around the earth. But some of them can come to the polar regions of the earth. And they, in that they interact with the, with, the, with the gas molecules on the upper atmosphere and they produce plasma. And that is why you see a color. It's called aurora. Aurora borealis in the northern hemisphere and aurora australis in the southern hemisphere. Now the thing is that solar flares are never very strong. And these, these uh, aurora that is caused by the flares can be seen on, on, only in the, in the polar and arctic regions. What's up? Northern Europe and in the bottom in the Antarctic area. But when there's a very strong um, solar flare like the one which happened yesterday, it's supposed to be a class 4, means it's very high. Now this is, and unfortunately Earth also is in the path of the, of the solar uh, charged particles coming from the sun. Now this, combined with our magnetic field and our atmosphere, produces the aurora. And uh, people are very fortunate to even see this right up to northern Italy, which is, which is very down in the, the latitude. Usually you see it only above Norway and Iceland and all those ways. But now we could see it all the way to, to Italy. And uh, I also read in the news that we could see aurora in, uh, in Ladakh, in Hanle. There's, there's a telescope there. So people there have reported that you could see uh, aurora in, in Hanley also. Now talking about how does it affect us? For a common person, it does not affect because flares come and go, uh, auroras come and go. Uh, it never affects us any health-wise or environment-wise directly. But what it can affect is our, 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 our day-to-day life, that is communication. We have so many satellites that communicate, that take our signals up and down. That can be disrupted. Your, your, your TV, satellite TV signals can be disrupted. Your radio communication can be disrupted. So these things are the only side effects of, of um, you know, solar flare. And uh, it, it can also happen that if the solar flare is strong enough, it can destroy some parts of the satellite. Not necessarily. We, thought, uh, we have not had any such uh, news of solar flare, except in the movies, of course. Uh, uh, solar flare uh, actually coming in, destroying something. No. Till now, it not has happened. And environment, I don't think there's any direct impact of a solar flare environment as of today. 